Dan is a 67-year-old man who has cerebral palsy. He is just a very happy person. My father helped me and I get first wheelchair Christmas. Right, you told me this story. Yeah. You were eight years old, right? Yeah. 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 No, you told me that that was a big deal for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when you first get to meet Dan, you gotta know that he's very high energy. He's always exciting, uh, laughing. He loved to joke around. Communication is such a huge part of who we are as people. We need to be able to communicate. We need to be able to know what you want or what you need. There are very short questions that we ask him. It's a yes or no, and he can answer that based on his voice pitch. Want some milk? <laughs> yeah. Milk. Yeah. But then when he wants to express himself even further, that's when the assistive technology piece comes into play. And he can be able to input words into his device and be able to read it out loud. He expresses himself very well. Even though he is not verbal, but through his communication and device, he gets the words out. Painting is really a, a big part of his life. He will paint and paint and paint. <laughs> Assistive technology for painting for him is a headpiece made actually from an inside frame of a construction hat, and then a metal rod is added to it. It was clear he was passionate about doing this, but you know, we have the technology, we have the tools to help him be independent, and he really was motivated uh, by working independently. I think it's, it's so important for him in, in communicating with other people. So he's found a, a medium, I think, that really it helps him to communicate in, other, in ways that he can't. Especially after his wife passed away, it was a, it was a really important form of, of communication and expression and, um, and just an, an outlet for emotion for him. He's gone on to have a, a gallery exhibit and sell his art to a variety of people and make connections in his community that he otherwise would not have done. That technology helps him to do what he wants to do and then he can show others in the community that this is possible. I can't imagine him doing that kind of art if he had to rely on someone to assist him all the time. Dan really wants to be a, an independent man and he really wants people to recognize him for who he is as a very intelligent individual that's in a body that just doesn't cooperate. I want people to get what they want out of life. I want people to have a choice. I want people to be advocates for themselves. It facilitates independence and communication and both of these things are really important in a person-centered life. It's been a joy ride for all of us who have gotten to know him over the years. He have grown exponentially when you think about all the other things that have been added to his communication skills. This is something that we are all excited about, to see Dan progress in this area.